Hi guys, just a quick one today on on uh, the sooks. Looking for a sook in here today. See who we can find to take him out and bring him into the house. I'll be doing this throughout um, the end of May and uh, June, which is uh, the first month of winter in Australia. So it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Temperature in the greenhouse is 18 Celsius or 64 Fahrenheit as you can see there and these are the the sooks right so what I'm gonna do is go through each one of them and look for um, cold burn or cold damage and accordingly take him out of here take him out and bring him into the house because we're coming close to winter it's only like um, three weeks away yeah now the lychee I'm not gonna bring this into the house but it's got all this um, well it looks like cold to me I'm not sure if it's cold or what it is or it could just be old leaves dropping because remember some of them drop their leaves just like the, um, the cold the cold climate um, fruit trees that drop their leaves so I'm not sure what the story is with the lychee if this is cold looks like cold or if it's just dropping its old leaves this lychee here is doing it too see that I've got three lychees in here's another one All right it's looking pretty sad it's got that sad droopy look see that sad droopy look not perky at all like for example these leaves here on the cherry moya yeah so these three uh, lychees are gonna stay in the greenhouse I've got no room to bring to bring everyone in the house so it's gonna be only the uh, super duper sooks and uh, um, the rare exotics which I do have back here so I think I'm gonna be pulling that one out back there that's the capel apple see that one in there that one that's a capel apple and he's got a mate as well over here back there see him the little one so these two I might pull out just get closer to them and there's a a kaimito back there star apple see it that one there with the new leaves he's not gonna be very happy out here so I might bring him in too yeah yep <clears throat> the babies and the Barbados cherry doesn't look very happy after um, all those aphids that attacked it back at the end of April I doused it with a lot of um, water and eco eco spray looks like new growth coming here yeah really got hit hit hard by um, um, well anything but cold I don't think this is cold damage although it might be we had um, see it's dropping leaves too we had 4.8 Celsius a couple of nights ago yeah 5 Celsius guys um, for about an hour overnight and that's cold and the lowest temperature that it got here in the greenhouse was 6.5 Celsius 6.5 that's the coldest it's been so far but it was brief right it wasn't all night it was only for an hour or so okay I got the two capel apples out and that's how it's written capel apple it doesn't mention anything about them being frost sensitive they sort of left it off the label but I'm guessing they are going by <coughs> going by the leaves see how the leaf has turned yellow these two leaves here doesn't look happy it's been, they've been it's, this plant has been sooking like this since um, summer yeah since um, since uh, January I had it in full Sun and that's why the leaves got burnt 
Not a good idea, George. Not a good idea. And then the cold struck. <laughs> First the heat damage and now the cold damage. Poor guy. See guys, it's like having kids. <clears throat> ah, the measles and then the, the flu. So see this one's got sun damage too. So they're coming in the house. All right. So even though the lychees are looking sad, as I said, they're a little bit more hardy. And there's always new growth showing up along the uh, along the stem. It's hard to see now. I don't have it on the right angle, but yeah, I can see a lot of green coming. It's just that um, all the new leaves are soaking, right? They're not happy at all on all three of them. These new leaves are meant to be happy and perky, right? But they're sad. They're so sad. But he's not going to get the special treatment in the house. He'll just have to suck it up. He'll just have to suck it up. All right, going back into here. Now, we have one. Let me see. We have... This wasn't the cherry moya, by the way. This is the Rolinia. That was a boo-boo of mine because it's got fruit or flowers that are coming. Remember I showed you this already? Yeah, they're still hanging in there. There's four of them. Okay. Doesn't want to focus. Yeah. I need a new camera, man. <laughs> I can't get this focus to work the way I want. So, the next sook is this one here. That's the... Uh, um, Abu. Now, I lost an Abu last year in the other greenhouse. And the other sook is here. That one, the Rossapodi canistel. I lost him too in the greenhouse. And I lost the, the star apple in the greenhouse. These are all greenhouse losses from last year. Different trees, not the same trees, of course, because they're all dead. So, I don't have room for one, two, three trees. Big one. These are big trees. And then I've got another star apple here. A little one. Just a, a seedling. Right? He's looking good though. Look how healthy he looks. He's looking really good. But don't be fooled by looks. Because come July, come July, these beautiful shiny green leaves will be um, a different story. But we'll check back on that in about a month. So that's it, guys. Looks like the um, amla is losing its leaves, which is normal. Nothing to worry about. See that? Nothing to worry about. The amla, the Indian gooseberry, which is mislabeled by, by um, dailies. It's not an umbrella. And I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. As far as uh, this greenhouse. There's the mini, not the mini, the full-size umbrella. This is the real umbrella. Getting new shoots here in the middle. Right? I'm going to be giving all these plants a shot of uh, um, sea soul. Um, in a day or two, I give it. Uh, I give them all uh, a good shot, a good spray, every month for cold protection to muscle them up a bit. So there you go. There's the uh, one, two, um, sapodillas, the grafted ones, looking much better than they were a month ago when they were attacked by aphids too right got rid of the aphids but it's not the end of the story because it never ends it never ends with aphids never ends guys then i got the jackfruits one two and they're, they're looking like champions three grafted ones 
Forget about leaving these outside. No way. <laughs> okay, I've got new growth here. What's going on here? And this one looks like aphids again, maybe. Hard to tell, hard to focus. It's a little dark, I haven't got my glasses either. Right there. Hard to tell what's going on. The aphids, I can't see. Too dark. Yeah. On the new, they hit the new growth. I always hit the new growth. Then I got a few cherimoyas in here. The um, peanut butter improved. It's improved its color from the yellow look. To now it's back to green. And back there I've got the santol and a couple of um, avocados here. The reed and the choquette. And then I've got the achacha. Uh, sugar apple back there all looking pretty good and what's this one here La, La Cucha Monkey Jack looking good it's got new shoots yeah and back there's the Mame Sapoti with the big leaves looking pretty good too I think we're done I think we're done guys So here they are, joining the the other sooks. The sook family is growing, isn't it? So now we've got two capels. We have one of three star apples. The other two I just showed you out in the greenhouse. They'll probably be joining this one. And for you that don't know what a star apple is, it's an incredible delicious fruit also known as um, milk fruit yeah it's like it's like milk and then we have uh, the wax jambu the white one the white one's extremely sensitive to cold unlike the, the pink one I have in the ground and then well, the biggest sickle of all. <laughs> I don't know why I got this. That was a bit of a silly decision. You'll have to stay in here in the house all year except for um, summer. You can only take three months of the year outside. And that's the uh, mangosteen, guys. All right, that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. The family's growing, as you can see. And all is good in the hood. See you later.